Webheads, is your week messed up because of the holiday weekend? Just letting you know, it's not Tuesday, it's Wednesday, it's new comic book day, so head to those shops and pick up your comic books. Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring a Spider Slayer's Comic Book Hall. Fans, this is episode 438, and this is the video series where each and every week I show you, the fans, what I get at the comic book store, which, of course, right behind me, as usual, is Comic Central, so thank you guys each and every week for providing me the great comics. And anytime, guys, if you want to give this video a like, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell. All right, so guys, this week is a very disappointing week for Mike Spider Slayer because I barely got any of my comics. Once again, there was shipping issues. My shop's not even sure when they're going to get the rest of their comics. I got only DC books this week, and there wasn't very many DC books to come out. But I did manage, before you go away, to pick up some other stuff. So the key thing is, is what did I pick up this week? I had to get creative, right? So here we go. Mysterious Black Bag. It's here. There's stuff inside. You're going to laugh when I pick up, guys. I'm telling you. All right. So don't let this thickness fool you because half of this size is bags and boards, okay? That goes on the floor. The next thing we got is another promotional poster of Wonder Woman Dead Earth. So I got that too. So, okay, cool, right? All right, so what did we get? I'm telling you guys, you're going to have fun, all right? So the first things first. From DC, I wound up getting Nightwing, issue 74. Obviously, it's the Joker War tie-in. And it looks like Dick Grayson is going after the crystal that could regain his memories so he could become Dick Grayson again and not Dicky Boy, right? So here's some of the interior artwork. Not that, that's an ad for Detective Comics. So here we got that. So here's some great artwork in there. I think that's kind of cool, all right? So we got some cool battle scenes in there. All right. So that's Nightwing. This is issue 74. Next, I'm enjoying Wonder Woman. So we got Wonder Woman issue 762. Wonder Woman's lying on the steps, right? And it looks like her new roommate uh, is a traitor. And she's not really a friend of Wonder Woman. And it seems like she's the one that's been... Uh, mind controlling everybody, making them see things that they're not supposed to see. Is she the daughter of Maxwell Lord? That's what you're led to believe after the last issue. Okay, so here's some more of this artwork that's inside Wonder Woman. I dig it. I think it's pretty cool. So here, give you another page to look at. And so this is a fun series for me right now. So yes, this is Wonder Woman issue 762. So, for all you speculators out there, uh, we wound up getting Superman issue 25. This is a milestone issue. Not only is it a milestone issue, and it's extra sized, but you'll wind up getting a new villain here. So, it's Sinmar. So, that's who we get. He's another big, bad, huge, hulking-like character, I guess. Well, maybe he's a little skinnier than I thought. And so... He's going to do battle against Superman. Look at him. He's got like four eyes. He's almost like a Trigon type of character. So this is the first time we're seeing him. What is he going to be? Where did he come from? You know, that's still yet to be determined. So this could be a spec book. Whether he makes an impact, it's still yet to deter be determined. This is Superman issue 25. All right. Next, we wound up getting Death Metal Trinity Crisis issue 1. I bought this just because I needed something else to read until my other books came out. I'm not really buying any more of these tie-ins when it comes to death metal. But again, I wanted to check it out because there's not that much else to read. And then we'll see how this all ties into the main story, right? So here we got that as well. 
Webheads, it's time for the Facebook shoutouts. That's right, guys. This is where I pick a selected few from my Facebook group, and I shout you out. And today, I'm going to be talking about Andrews Hall from last week. He picked up his new comic book day books, and he also did some $2 bin diving and picked up some great comics. Next, we have Derek who's showing off his haul from last week, and he loves to display all the books that he picks up for the week on the tile floor. I think that's pretty awesome. Hey, you got to do something to get that in that picture, right? So great haul there, Derek. And then also, I want to show off Brett's September 2nd haul as well. He's talking about his uh, Back Issues magazine that he picked up, where if you're a fan of the 70s and 80s time of comic books, you might want to check that out, and Brett, great haul as well. So again, guys, if you want to be part of the Facebook group page, all you got to do is go on to Comic Book Corner 2.0, Web Hedge Unite. Just click on the link below. It'll take you right to it. All I got to do is approve you, and you're set to go. So guys, let's get back to the haul. All right, webheads, now to the good stuff, right? This is the juicy stuff that I bought instead of buying uh, the rest of the new comics that I couldn't get. So the first thing I wind up getting is Spawn issue five, I'm sorry, Spawn issue 62. Angela's on the cover, great um, McFarlane artwork on here. Angela looks gorgeous. Uh, I love the background here as well. So they had this cover, I'm like, wow, this looks nice. So I just decided to pick this one up and add it to the small Spawn collection I actually have. I don't have that huge of a collection. All right, and then next I wound up getting Venom issue 25, another issue 25. This is the third printing, one in 25 variant cover. So I wound up getting this book. They had it, they had one copy. It was behind the counter. This is the gem of the of the day, right? And so I was like, yes. I'm like, I have like eight copies of Venom 25 now, and this is just added to the collection, but this is the one, right, that I think is might possibly be worth the most in the future. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. So that's Venom issue 25. Now for the grand finale of it all. If you thought Venom 25 was the shit, right? Here we go. Not only, guys, did I pick up one, but I picked up two comics that are going to blow your mind right here. Two copies of it. Ready? Bam! Yes, baby! I picked up X-Force issue one, two copies. Worth absolutely nothing. It's worth $250. But you know what? What I wanted to do is I wanted to open them up and I wanted to see what card I got inside. It's going to be like the 90s all over again, guys. Right? Here we go. Oh, I don't even have to open it up. This one has it revealed for me. It's got the X-Force team on the back side of it. So I wound up getting that one, right? And then I wound up getting the second one and we might have to open this one up. Maybe just to show you that great Liefeld artwork. And here we go. The next one is... <laughs> I can't believe I got this. The next card is the Shatterstar card. I actually have this one. The one copy that I own, I have that. You could get probably 8,000 of these, these comics, right? And, and, and that's what's inside. God, it's so disappointing. I don't even care, man. Let's see what it looks like inside, right? Here we go. X-Force issue one. So for you guys that weren't around back in 1991 or whenever this was released, um, here's what you could have expected from the artwork back in the day. Okay, there's your Liefeld artwork, which actually was really, you know, in the day, it just was revolutionary. People loved it, right? But nowadays, people make fun of it. But that is X-Force issue one, okay? And there's Shatterstar in there. And then here is your Shatterstar card that you got with it, right? I was hoping to get maybe the Deadpool card, but it's not in there. But shit, maybe you can send in this order form and still get your free freaking t-shirt, right? <laughs> so there you guys go. There is the haul. It's pathetic this week, but I'm glad I could show you something. It'll probably be next week until I show you those books. And then I'm going to have a ton of reading to do. So, guys, there you have it. I want to hear you guys 
actually uh, your hauls in the comments below or put them on my Facebook group page. So until next time, I'll leave you more content. And this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. See you guys real soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.